okay everyone uh, we will see the next experiment the aim of that experiment is write a program in java with class rectangle with data fields length area and the color the length width area are double type and color is of string type the meth methods are get length get width get color and find area create two object of rectangle and compare their area and color if the area and the color both are same for the object then display matching rectangles otherwise display not matching rectangles let's see how java program will look like so this is the blank java program which we created let's have the class of uh, rectangle in this uh, we are supposed to have two variables of in this we are supposed to have three variables of double type one is width second is length third is area and this are going to be private uh, we will have the color also private and it will be of string type we are going to have function void get length function so here i will display system dot out dot print ln and per length now take the for taking the input from the user we should create one object for scanning so that is scanner ip and dot new dot scanner dot what it will do it will take uh, input from user so i created that i'm supposed to take that in this lane uh, is equal to ip dot next int by taking the input from the user i am supposed to write same function for width also so i just copy paste it it is get width and ask for width we'll get store in width similarly i will have for color so this will be white get color so so it will be next it is not into that but interesting time so it is just color there will be there will be a function which will calculate the area so this is the what it will do is that it will calculate area as length multiplied by width and it will return area one more function we are going to create which will of string type say display Color. what it will do it is it's working very simple that it will just return color let's go to the main in the main uh, we are supposed to create the objects of uh, class rectangle say r1 which is equal to new okay, so one more i have to create that is r2 new then i'm supposed to take the the data for rectangular one so right here system dot out dot print ln here first rectangle so with help of r1 i will call get then then i will call r1 dot get width then r1 dot get color similar thing i will do for the second rectangle just i will copy paste and here i will make changes for let's say second so instead of r1 it will be r2 everywhere okay so i calculated that plus we need uh the color information here in main c1 is equal to r1 dot display color so i created one c1 i need to create c2 and now what i need to do is that i need to compare the two 
rectangles so i will use if function so in the if what i am going to write is uh, i'm going to take if ideas of both are same so list uh, do that r1 dot uh, cal area uh, if that is equal to equal to r2 dot cal area right so this cal area is going to return a, a area of that rectangle so that will be in double integer so that double integer will actually compare and there is one more we need to get compare this c1 with the c2 uh, very simple method is there so it is c1 dot compare to function so here we have to write another uh, string that is c2 and if it is equal to equal to zero then that means both uh, rectangles match it. so what i'll write here is system dot out dot print ln in that i write rectangles are matching else what i'll write is system dot out dot print ln uh, rectangles are not matching that's it friend uh, this is our from this is our program so first rectangle say 10 and say 25 color say red uh second negative is say 7 and 9 and color is blue so those are not matching and if i'll run it again here i will uh, give identical length and width 10 20 color is red so again 10 20 color is red so here you can see that it is showing that rectangle is matching 